What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video here today and the potential chances of what could be coming afterward for Kirby Reed as you see in the title and the thumbnail. So just to recap, back in May, Daniel RPK, a reputable insider who's trusted, shared that the idea post Scream 7 is to make more sequels, a spinoff, and a new TV show. Now, I've gone over how I had heard rumblings about Kirby starring in a limited series as an FBI agent. I did also hear that it may still happen, but as of now, this is just a rumored plan and nothing more. I did also talk about how I heard one of the core four would be involved with Kirby because one of the members of the core four actually had an interest in joining the FBI. I don't think it's going to happen, to be honest, but the reason we're addressing this again today is because of this post that got shared almost a day, almost a day ago mentioning that Hayden Pantier is going to be starring in an official spinoff of Scream. It's believed to be a streaming series on Paramount Plus, but there is interest in making films as well. Meetings have been ongoing. The plan is to set up the storyline in Scream 7 first with her character of Kirby returning. The production company is seeking to expand the universe of Scream, much like other recent horror franchises have. So, here's the thing. This doesn't make it confirmed, and while this page isn't always right, I have noticed what they are right about at times, because they have gotten stuff right in the past, like the Smile 2 cameo they reported months ago. That's true. Also, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's fine. You'll end up being surprised. But for those of you who do know what I'm talking about, yes, that person is the cameo. It's just interesting that this information is coming up again. If true, it matches what Daniel reported back in May about Spyglass's plans, it also would corroborate what I heard about plans for the Kirby show still being possible despite everything that has happened since November of last year. Here's the thing. Logically, this is why it could happen. Scream 7 is supposed to be filming in Atlanta, reportedly, and we haven't heard jack about where Cindy Prescott lives ever since she returned in Scream 5. Yes, the Seattle details were out there, but that never was spoken on screen. Kirby Reed, we do know, lives in Atlanta. Nev has said characters are returning in this upcoming film as well. My gut feeling is going to point towards Mark and Gail. That doesn't mean that it's not Kirby, but the easiest two to lean on in this case, based off everything that's been floating around, is Mark and Gail. But Kirby, of course, is a possible returning character too. So, the Prescott family and Kirby Reed could be living in the same city. As much as I think this isn't necessary, it's a it's a possibility that we can entertain. This could be a move that the Kincaids just did after Sydney got a job as a counselor at this high school. They've been trying to move anyway because of the drama in Seattle, all inspired by the events of what happened in Scream 5 and Scream 6, etc. So Sydney, conveniently for the sake of the story to work, moved to Atlanta. I could buy that in at that angle. It's an easy way to get Kirby involved and eliminates the need to write up another Jason and Greg situation where she's called into an area she doesn't reside in like she does in New York for Scream 6. But how does the FBI get involved with Sydney? Well, a kidnapping should do the trick. Sydney's youngest can be AWOL the entire film and Kirby is on the case because of this. I will say that it's funny that a few days ago I did put out a tweet saying that I don't think Kirby should be involved in Scream 7, in this... Well, it's not that they can't come up with something for her. I just don't see anything right now. Now, if you concoct a narrative in which her and Sydney are living in the same area, that's an easy end. Because you could have Sydney's kids get kidnapped, one of them at least, and then Kirby, the FBI, they're right, on, right there on the case. It's also a, a, something of interest to Kirby since Ghostface will be involved. But I've been expressing that the character of Kirby who I firmly believe was who Wes Craven had his eye on to carry us into a new trilogy, despite Kevin Williamson originally killing her. I've been saying that Kirby Reed should have something of her own. I think Kirby would be better off and deserves a story that is carried by herself. You've given her this role as an FBI agent. I don't see the problem with doing a spinoff show that is centered entirely on Kirby Reed. I just also don't want to see it if all you're going to do is Ghostface 
and G Kirby Reed solving ghost face attacks. I don't want to see that. You can easily expand the Scream universe by having a spinoff show with a character that's a part of the Scream universe, the way Kirby is, and she can we can just be finding out her role as an FBI agent, how she got to that role, etc. We could also find out all of these different cases she's solving. It doesn't need to be tied to Ghostface. So if you're going to limit yourself like that, then don't do it. But if you're going to give us a show that highlights an FBI agent over several different types of cases and it's just in the Scream universe, that could be something that a lot of people would eat up, at least Kirby fans anyway. Now, I do know that, of course, if Hayden Pantier were to do this project, a lot of people would take issue with it. But here's the thing. Realistically, what does Hayden Pantier have lined up? Kirby Reed is one of her one of her most popular characters. She could be starting this upcoming hero show. I could give you that. But what does Hayden have lined up that's really big right now? I get that there's this frustration with Spyglass. I get it. I don't want them to have the rights either. The problem is I also have to acknowledge that opportunities for certain stars are not out there the way they are for the A-listers, the people that are in demand all the time, the people that we often see so much of in a plethora of movies throughout the year. Hayden Pantier is not one of those stars. So of course stars like Hayden are going to take roles and opportunities when they can get them. Even if it's coming from a company that we have issues with. I get why these stars are doing it, I do. It's rough out there for a lot of them. They they were telling us that during the strike. So if there is a Kirby show, my only hope is that you are not doing a show that is just tied to Ghostface attacks. Give the character of Kirby a show that puts a, and puts a giant spotlight on her. Let Hayden do her thing. Let's explore this character in ways we didn't get to during the Screen 4 trilogy opportunity because of the fact that Screen 4 underperformed. But again, I cannot stress this enough. Everything we've been hearing about Wes and Hayden and his interest in Kirby pointed in a safe assumption that he wanted Kirby to lead a trilogy. I think Wes was taking a liking to the idea of Kirby being our new final girl, taking the spotlight from Sydney. I think that's what he was going for, but we didn't get to see it. Now you have an opportunity to at least explore the character in an interesting role as an FBI agent in a limited series, in a movie, a series of movies even. Just don't make it all about Ghostface. Because if it's all about Ghostface, yeah, sure, you're, you'll have some fans from the Scream franchise sticking around for a while. But how much, how long will that even be effective? FBI agents do more than just chase Ghostface killers. So let's just hope it's something of quality if they actually pull the, pull the trigger on this. And if Kirby herself is present in Scream 7, tracking down the person who stole Sydney's kid you know, that can be substantial enough. It gives her an immediate end, gives her a crucial role. I can't really knock it too much for that. If you're going to make it a story that's concocted in that capacity, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and there is a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.